Mark, so can you see the screen? It's so here we are. It's time for the final. Liam Mandel Lawrence versus Jochen Groudens. First seven legs. The winner will be SDC Tour Event 10. Winner. <laughs> and um, both have been, I'd arguably say, the best two players today on current form. Jochen Groudens has been very consistent, very steady. Um, dominated the group stages as he so normally does. And rather sailed through his knockout rounds as well, which you don't often um, tend to expect from some of our finalists. But um, his closest game all day was 5-2 against Christoph Schumann. Um, he's really had today all his own way. Maybe the game against Matai Pulipic in the group stage? Yeah, he had already qualified through the group at that point. But um, Matai Pulipic did get two legs off him as well. That's, that's we know good. Liam Mendel Lawrence lost a game in the group stage to Luis Camacho. And almost faced match darts against Christian de Kunto as well. Mm. Could have been out in the group. Yeah, Lucas Dahlman, remember. Don't forget that game on live stream where Dahlman was arguably the best player for most of that game. Sat on 61 to win. And Liam Mendel Lawrence takes out 1 2 1 on the bull to on win it. On the bully, yeah. 140. Remember. So, what's your prediction for this one then, James? Long format game, first to seven. Are we going to see potentially 14, 13 legs? For me, it goes Liam Mendel Lawrence. Uh, Seven three. Seven three to Liam. Okay. I'm gonna say Jock and Groudens wins seven five. Ninety nine. Hopefully we can give you the best quality of game and the best quality of stream possible here. As we know now that Europe have just won the Ryder Cup. Germany have won STC Tour Event 10. Which member is it going to be? Of course, no Germans in that Ryder Cup team, is there, this year? No Martin Keimer, of course. Who perhaps was the last German golf representative. Someone in the YouTube comments may know more than me. Game short in the first leg. Liam and Lawrence. Steady scoring starts this game. Second leg is Liam to throw first. Game on. Yeah, it's been a it's been a steady start from both players. Um, Liam Mandel Lawrence finds himself on 62 here. With Groudens waiting on double four. Okay, finds the treble 10. That'll leave double 16. Any time about now. <laughs> and he finds it, second dart. Liam Mendel Lawrence taking the opening stanza there. One nil up. Yeah, opening break of throw from Liam. Starts off with a ton as well on his own throw. We talked about darts fatigue early, didn't we, in those semi final games with two Austrian players perhaps not having. The best darting stamina. Do you think darting stamina will, will play a factor in this one? Or do you think these two men are too experienced and too um, too skilled to let you know the, the length of the day or the length of the game affect their performance? I think it will affect Jochen Groudens. I mean, he's not been this far in a long time. He hasn't played this much darts in a while. Um, Liam Mendel Lawrence has been in, knows what it takes this year. He's also a younger lad. I always feel like younger people have that more, more stamina. There's that age factor he's got on his side. Um, yeah, so I think Liam Mendel Lawrence will come through this one. I think I've been quite impressed with his knockout stage games. I think in the group stage this morning, I think oh, I was a bit like, oh, he's not playing too well. But then he kind of shows his quality, doesn't he, in these latter stage games. Um, he does, yeah. That game against Lucas Dahlman was was probably the highlight for me. Um, but let's not forget, he beat Andy Bless 5-2. He's been in the 80s all afternoon. Yeah, Lowest average at 82, highest average at 91. Very consistent, very steady darts. Don't know if this is enough to get him through Q school. I um, think he's a little bit off the pace for Q school at the moment. But anything can happen at Q school, and we know that. Yeah, it can. You can win games with, you know, Mark and Helder won games with a 30 average, didn't he? You can win games with 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 average, you know, to, to really progress far and get to the sort of course final stages where you need to be to get a tour card. You, you probably need to be touching that 100 mark, don't you? But we know that Liam is capable of darts of that that standard. Yeah, very much so. 
he uh, he finds himself here on uh, tops left. If Jochen Groudon's way out of the picture in this one. Tops off 15 darts. Steady enough spears on his own throw. Yeah, that's enough. Certainly when there's no pressure coming back from Groudon's, who won't be leaving a finish here. That's a lie. He will be leaving a finish here. Leaves one three four. I rather premeditated what he might score. Sorry, leaves one two nine. Hits one three four. You were just checking out one two nine against me on our little practice board there, weren't you, James? I was indeed. You had a, you had a little poke at one two nine. We talk about Groudon's won't be getting a poke at one two nine. Mendel Lawrence cleans up tops. We were talking about darts fatigue earlier. Would you say you've got commentary fatigue? A few needless errors slipping in. Um, would you like to describe one of those errors for me, James? A prime example being that you said that Jochen Groudon had not left a finish. I was guessing. I was looking at Darts Connect because our stream was too laggy. <laughs> um, and presuming he did not leave a finish from 263, I was guessing. I was As we see, Liam Mendel Lawrence put in a ton 80 here. Seen uh, one poke at the nine darts. Do you reckon we'll get one here with we Liam Mendel Lawrence? We won't get a poke here, no. Um, that Rocco effort, though, by the way, 180, 177. You think that's the best Ooh. chance we were going to have? It had me on the edge of my seat. Obviously, his, his seventh dart was. Wild, wasn't it? That it was rather through Peter the left. It was four left, wasn't it? In was golfing four left in golf terms, yeah. As our stream continues to rain lag. 85. But we know that there's not going to be a nine darter attempt with Liam Mendel on going below. Ton 50, though. It is a ton 40. First dart did drop low, but two above that after. Can Liam Mendel Lawrence go back to back games without losing a leg? the semis and final just in answer to your question james i don't think i'm suffering from darts fatigue i think i'm in the prime of my commentary powers right now i think the morning session was a little bit slow it took me some time to warm up um but i'd say i'm now i'm now feeling 100 percent. i'm feeling chipper and excited for this final Liam, you require 82. I'm hoping for a bit of uh, rebuttal from Jochen Groudens at the moment it's looking very one-sided this final hmm um, yeah, much like the two semi-finals. Well, a 180 will change all that. As Jochen Groudens obliges and fills the bears. Two 180s in this leg. One for Mendel Lawrence and one for Jochen Groudens. Will Mendel Lawrence, though, get 82? If he pops 82, you'd think that this could be the game almost wrapped well, up. Well, yes, two breaks a throw, of course, as well. This is to go. I suspect he'll be starting on the bullseye here. Ends up just getting a pop at the bull. So he misses the bullseye. Okay. He goes seven outer balls out to inner, presumably. Yes. Well, I'm assuming he's gone seven outer outer to leave outer. That darts fatigue, the commentary fatigue, really kicking in with you there, Matthew. The attempt was outer inner, James. Yes, I think everyone understood what I meant. Game short in the third leg. Liam so, Mandel Lawrence back for twenty five. Do you reckon he pops this? Um, no, I don't think he does. I think he goes nine outside, inside on the eight. Interesting. We are just as much in, in the dark about this checkout as Liam Mendel Lawrence is right now, <laughs> but he does find it too. Nine, double eight, cleans up very nicely. That is assumed. We actually can't see yes, any it pictures on been, our screen. It could have been five for double ten. We don't we don't know. What we do know is Liam Mendel Lawrence is three nil up. And throwing to make that 4 0 and kicks off with two trebles. Averaging 104. You're up in Groudon's measly 90 in the first three legs. Look at the enough. body language of Groudon's here. I know our, our screen is frozen, but he's a dejected man in the background there. He is indeed. He's thinking, he was already thinking of how he could he spend that 500 extra pounds, extra Swiss francs that were going to come into his pocket. But instead, he's going to have to think what he's going to save that 500 Swiss francs that he's won. I wonder if he'll be buying any evening refreshments with some of those 500 francs. I think he might be buying evening refreshments, just not alcoholic beverages, which we know on the SDC, Jochen Grants does not consume and he does not condone. If you guys aren't too sure about that one, read up on the interview Jochen Grants has done. It's an interesting read. What were your thoughts on that? I know we've discussed this at the very start of the season. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. a lot of uh, viewers won't have seen the interview or won't be aware of what we're discussing. Yeah, I'm glad the dust sort of settled on this argument now. And it's sort of, I don't want to say been blown over because the points you were making were, were certainly valid and had some credibility to them. But I'm glad that it was just a, 
a little storm in the teacup for the time being. It, it created ripples, didn't it, in the darting world? There was a lot of publicity, negative publicity around it um, in the first couple of days after his comments. But I think I'm glad that maybe there hasn't been a resolution to it, but um, yeah, that, that it's become less divisive as an issue. Drinking in, in darts. Agreed. Mendel Lawrence is on 94. Which route do you think he'll go? Tri treble 18 or bullseye? I think he'll go the treble 18 route. Um, I don't see him respecting Groudon's okay, and going to bullseye. I think at 3 0, I probably would also go treble 18. Unlikely with a lot. With no darts at double, Jochen Grounds would find a 130 check. Yeah. And I feel if he just hits big 18, he'll then probably go for the double double. He's gone single 18, treble 20, and he's on double A, and he finds it. Liam Mendel Lawrence checks out 94 for another 15 data, averaging 102, his highest average so far of the day. Jochen Grounen starts off with a ton 40 in return. This could be one of our most impressive final performances of all time from Liam Mendel Lawrence. Yeah, have we ever seen a, a ton plus average in the final? I don't think we have. <laughs> Particularly hard to do it over that length of game and against that quality of opposition. At 43 alone, enough to bring it down below the 100. 100. Of course, I hope this just whets your appetite for a, a week of darts. We've got the World Grand Prix starting tomorrow. We do indeed. And then we've obviously got two more weekends of Swiss darting action before we have our tour finals again. There is one in a couple of weeks' time before we have our last weekend of the tour in November, the weekend of November 25th and 26th, where me, myself and Matt will be participating along with 126 other players from around the world for a chance to win SDC Tour events number 13 and 14. 14. Yeah, that tournament's in Zurich, and I believe there's still tickets available. There are tickets for Clutton. Clotten, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and then the tour finals this year are in Basel Thanks. in December. So an opportunity there to face against 255 other darts competitors for a chance to win a whopping, I want to say 4,000. Yeah, yeah I want to finals. say it could even be 5,000 Swiss francs. Yeah, yeah, last time it was 2,000 for the tour final winner. And I can guarantee you Belly will be there licking his lips at that prize money. Yeah, it was a it was a spectacular event to be a part of, wasn't it? Uh, at the end of the, the t early twenty three season, I'm sure it'll be a spectacular night in Basel in December as well. Just so you guys are aware, anyone can get tickets for those events. You just have to go on to the SDC website and go to their shop and purchase a ticket through there. Alternately, you can just call up Mark in Helder or email him at SDC's email which you can also find on the website and he will put the order through for you. Yeah, get your tickets for either of those two events quickly. We know they're becoming more and more popular, of course. We had a full field today of 128 entrants. You often require 40. So if you want to enter... Averages range from anywhere between 35 up to 100 plus. So 109, the very first game of the day between Marcel Walpen and Bruno. 153. Bruno? Is it Bruno? I think I've got his name wrong. I've forgotten what his name was. Now. Bit, of, bit of commentary fatigue creeping in. Oh, it's not commentary fatigue. I just can't remember his name. Portuguese. Lad. I was going to say Bradley Royce, but it's definitely not Bradley <laughs> Royce. He's in live league this week, and he's from the Netherlands. You see Jochen Ground has missed three darts at double top. We've got Mendel Lawrence now on 153. Groudens will be back. No score. He'll be back for double ten. A double he's hit quite a lot today, I feel. We certainly affect him on double ten in the semi-final, but hasn't been here. And offers Mendel Lawrence another opportunity from this mid-range combination that he's been mighty effective on today. Yeah, he's checked out these kind of finishes before, and I think he's going to go treble 19 first port of call. Uh, because he checked 94 in the last leg. Check point less here. Should be an easier one, right? Wonder which route that was then. Yeah, so I suspect he's hit big 19, left 74, and probably hit 42 and then 16. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And trouble 14 and hit that. 
Oh no, okay, hit the treble, 19. He went for the bullseye first dart on 93. Second dart is at treble 19. Jochen Groudens finds that all-important dart at double, which had been eluding him up until now. 4-1 to Liam Mendel-Lawrence, though. First leg in the ledger for Groudens. 96. He'll be relieved at that. It was a, it was a little bit overdue, wasn't it, that first leg for Groudens? was indeed. Liam Mendel Lawrence now up to, 100. I think, eight 180s for the tournament today. He was on six prior he's to hit, this. He's hit seven. plenty, hasn't he? He's hit three, I think, in this game here. We can have a quick look at those, uh, those tournament stats again. Tournament stats obviously not including the final, I don't think. So he's on eight up until the final. Yeah. 100. So he has hit double figures, our first man to do so. He's back in the treble segment again here. Is that a ton 40 or just a ton? I think he's probably in enough control over this leg as well. Jochen Grounds yeah. is going to need a second treble here. Finds a second treble, so he's got a little outside poke here. Mendel Lawrence, unlikely to leave a finish on 305, you'd think. My pet peeve is players that start treble 18 on 305. I do not understand. Correct me if you disagree with me on this one. But I think you will agree, and I knew he would start on treble 18, because treble 18 is the only place you can leave a finish should you hit the single. But my personal opinion is three treble 18s, regardless, is only 162. 162 from 305 leaves you on 133. Yeah. Is that right? I think I've done my math. No, 143, sorry. Okay. 143 is near on impossible to hit anyway. If you hit 162 followed by 143, you are Phil Taylor. 100. <laughs> I think it's just a stupid way to start, but that's my opinion. I think I'd rather go treble 20, treble 20, out of bull. You know my thoughts on going for treble 18 in any combination shots, that it's, it's just a waste. Unless you're a world-class darts player who has equal ability on all segments of the board go for what you know go for what you practice you travel 20s travel 19s and to a lesser extent travel 18 but in my opinion and my preferences i wouldn't even be considering the 18s there i would love to see liam mendel lawrence see the petard shot and go for bull seven bull here but i don't think we're gonna get that no i can't see that happening too much of a professional is mendel lawrence I can see him just hitting one big treble a double of choice needs the treble 20 or the treble 16 okay just the 59 score leaves 48 left Jochen Groudon sat on 121 likely to get a poke at the ball here you think the finish that Mendel Lawrence of course beat Lucas Dalman on earlier today doesn't find it just leaves tops Liam Mendel Lawrence on 48 doesn't get this the game starts to become rather interesting yes it does because this would be a break of throw remember game on so 48 for Mandel Lawrence. A lucky leave for Groudens by the looks of things. 16 for double 16. 16. I suspect he hasn't hit it a second dart. That or we're just very loud. Yeah, we, we're in the dark here, but I'm going to predict that he hasn't checked. He has checked it. Second <laughs> dart. The darts fatigue from Matt Travis continuing to come true. My predictions are becoming increasingly poor today. And 7-5, my game prediction, is also looking uh, increasingly unlikely. I think 7-2 is probably the uh, the best well, bet, according to Barry the Bookie Nelson. Yeah. I'd actually have a little bit of money on the 7-1 at this point. Yeah, I think with Jochen Grant's ton 40, it could be 7-2, the play. Or even 7-3. I do think Liam Mendel Lawrence now has almost but secured this tour title. I think Groudens does have a little bit 41. of something there, but I just don't think he's got enough. Groudens has played well today, and I think this is almost the best I've seen Jochen Groudens play ever an SDC tour event. And that's no insult to Jochen Groudens, but I think this is his level. I don't know if he has got the ability necessarily to mix it with the best of the best in the SDC. I think Liam Mendel Lawrence here averaging mid 90s. Is a level that I don't think Groudens can compete with over 10, 11, 12 legs. We've seen some players in the STC's ability pick up and grow. Marcel Walken being one of them. Uh, Stefan Belmont being another one, potentially. Fried Lang being another one. Yep. 
I don't think we've seen that from Jochen Graalens or from Rocco Fortuniti, and that's why they're why still where they're at now. I think they've not taken that next step and made those improvements. I think it's hard to argue that Gra- that Rocco hasn't become a better player because of the SDC. I think in the very few first tour events where Rocco obviously did well and got to a couple of finals, I'd be very surprised if the averages in those games were as high as what he has averaged today. Yeah. I know Results he has wise, averaged 80s though in semi-finals before and that weekend yeah. where there were the four players that averaged 80, Yoss, Walpen, Groudens and Rocco, all four players averaged above 87. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen Rocco hit those kind of numbers recently, 87 averages. I know we've had mm. a couple today, mm. but not over first to six legs. Interesting point. I wonder what Rocco would say if you asked him that question. Do you think he's become a better darts player in the last two years? Has the SDC helped him become a better player? I don't know what the answer to that is. I think the, the ability of players in the SDC has got better. And I think that obviously always should help you improve. My question is just, has the field got better or has Rocco just plateaued and got worse? The field has no doubt got better. Yeah, um, that's for sure. Difficult, a difficult metric to assess how well Rocco is playing because you can't assess it on results, given that the field has got better. Yeah, so it's always going to be more difficult to win events in a more stacked field. One hundred and forty. Liam Miller Lawrence on one hundred and seventeen here. Groudon's on double eight. Slight delay as Jochen Groudon finds double eight second dart in hand to put it on to five two. Liam Middle Lawrence's average coming down 13 points since those opening four legs. Yes, it has. But don't think he's a man in decline. He's still in strong control of this game. 5-2 up and hits another 180. His third of the match, I dare say. Eighty. So Liam and Lawrence in control of this eighth leg. Very much so. You'd think that if he wins this leg, that would be game over. You would, yeah. He'd then have five opportunities to win a leg. 45. What will he hit here? Will he leave it handy? Will he leave a cheeky two darter? I think he'll just hit one treble from, from 197 here. I think just 97 or a ton. Okay. Incorrect prediction once again from my co-commentator Matt Travis. Incredible how, how few you're getting right. I'm usually quite reliable on these, I think you'd say, James. I, I, I make some your, good starting predictions. I would have said with your betting history that, that obviously you're quite prominent with making correct decisions on the gambling front you would be able to predict more of these accurately hmm. a lot of these are quite trivial questions though aren't they what will Liam Mendel Lawrence hit from 197 but my intuition told me he would hit a ton there I thought I was wrong Jochen Groudens and Liam Mendel Lawrence either of these finishes to go mm, no I don't think Liam Mendel Lawrence checks 52 okay he's been his combination finishing this game has been very, very good. And I think he's overdue a couple of missed starts at double. Game short Interesting. In I don't think he can sustain his roughly 50% checkout ratio, which I think is where he's at in this game. So therefore he misses. It's difficult to know because of the lag if he's not got it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he's gone 12 or tops. He's gone 12. He's gone. He's tried to attack the treble 12. I don't think he's got it. <laughs> but it's very hard to tell. <laughs> Looks like Groudens is stepping back up to the hockey, so... <laughs> Interesting here. And he's got it in two yards. <laughs> he has got it. Well, boy, yeah, from Mendel Lawrence. Matt Travis with another team's incorrect opinion. I think you also might have 
inputted an incorrect opinion. In I thought well. I did think it had gone as well, yeah, <laughs> because I'm looking at the darts that are on the board. So our lag, for those of you who, who obviously aren't seeing what we're seeing, we can see the occasional dart going to the board and then the next player stepping up to the hockey. And the way that Jochen Grounds was standing at the hockey made me think he was going yeah, for a yeah. double. Yeah, there's an incredible amount of lag here, folks. I'm sorry about that. That our coverage hasn't been tip-top for this final. We know that Liam Mendel Lawrence is a slow player, as is yes. Jochen Grounds, but this is slower than we would 100. like it to be. But one thing that hasn't been slow is Liam Mendel Lawrence. This weekend, he's played very well, hasn't he? All day today. And a very worthy winner, you would say. Yeah, after watching the group stages, I didn't think he was going to be the one that was going to come out on top today. No. Nope. But been very impressed with his doubling statistics in the last couple of legs. And I think his, his trebles have been steady enough. And I think he's probably going to come out of this one with a 90 average in he's, the end. He's had to do it the hard way as well. I mean, you'd say the top half of the draw opened when Marcel Lawton was knocked out. But he's had to do it the hard way, beating Lucas Dalman, averaging the 80s, beating Andy Bless. Um, Senad Velicic yeah, as well. And the he's... exciting Marcel Lupi. Um, he's had to do it the hard way coming through some of those players. Yeah, and obviously having Camacho in his group as well. You know, he didn't come through that one. Surely he can't finish his off with a 170 finish. This would be absolutely rascal. He might know before us. Crowd into his face in the background. Makes me think he might have at least one treble in here. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I think he might have had, got a poke at the ball there. I you think know. he probably has had a poke at the ball. Oh, he rises. Oh, far. yes, you can see the smiles. <laughs> they both they both know that that was a, a relatively uh, rash dart ball. Gutted that we can't watch this or yeah, enjoy it. We could bring no enthusiasm to that 170 attempt. Yeah, apologies. It's just our lag here. But Liam Mendel Lawrence on 47 for his second SDC tour title. Yes. 1,000 Swiss francs on the line. I'm assuming he will go 15 for double 16. The anticipation builds. And there we go. Liam Mendel Lawrence checks 47 for a 15 dart leg, a 92 average of the match, and a 7 2 win over Jochen Grauden to win himself SDC tour event. Number 10, Trav, what do you think of the final and what do you think of today's action? Well, congratulations to Liam. That was a brilliant final and he was by far the better player. He restricted Jochen Grounds to so few efforts at double um, just through his power scoring. As we highlighted earlier, he's the top 180 hitter today, the top 140 hitter today. And I think that was evident in that final with him outscoring Jochen Grounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased for Liam. I'm glad that he won. I think he played really well and really consistently all day today. Um, a couple of other names who probably deserve a little bit of a mention are our Austrian duo who made it to the semi-finals. Um, both players I'm sure we we haven't seen the last of and I hope to see them again in, in SDC tournaments if that indeed was their, their debuts. Um, Sanad Velic and Mikhail Voracek. We're back for SDC tour events 11 and 13 on the 28th and 29th of October in Bern. Uh, we'll be there commentating as per normal. And we will be participating in 13 and 14. 